How's it going YouTube Infusion? This is Linux 215 with some more of my tutorials and guides. This one will be about how to mod Borderlands with Willow Tree, but this one's going to be about the guns, modding some guns. Okay, first off, let's go ahead and get this out of the way by finding the modding website that you're going to get the codes for the guns. So go ahead and bring up your internet browser and go to Google and just put in modding Borderlands. And it's going to be the second one down. It's blmodding.wiki.com. Just go ahead and click on it. And you'll get this website. Okay, now find Hall of Fame and click on the latest patch. As of this video, it's 1.3. Okay, now that you're here, go ahead and... Uh, if you haven't already downloaded Willow Tree and everything from my tutorial and guide at ps3tfusion.com, go ahead and do that now. But if you, uh, since you already have, uh, go ahead and bring up Willow Tree. Go ahead and click Weapon Shop. Go ahead and, uh, if you haven't already, put your USB drive in with your save and all that. Okay, now find your save. I put mine on my desktop. Uh, okay, and as you can see, there's all these guns. Click the little X and click on uh, let's say the first one but uh, what I always do is move willow tree over here and then bring over this say you want a, a revolver and there's no pictures on these ones but uh, let's just say with this one you find the code right here the these ones okay now I usually make it like in a somewhat appropriate size over here on the side just so I can see the code now bring up Willow Tree so it's kind of like overlapping, kind of like this. And uh, now that you've got your gun, click on this one in this little window right here. Now click Manually Edit. Now you'll see that this pops up. Go ahead and delete this. And come over here and cop copy this first top one. Come back over here and paste. I hit OK. As you can see, it changed it. Now you're going to want to do this all the way down. Manually edit. Okay. Now make sure not to click none of these over here because if you haven't clicked Save Changes and you actually click one of these and try to go back to it, your gun will be back at default and you'll have to start all the way over. So make sure after like every few, if you get kind of clumsy on accidentally clicking these when you try to click OK, just go ahead and make sure you save changes every once in a while just so it don't mess up. Then now after the gun's completely done, you go ahead and hit save changes and come over here and save and it'll rehash and everything. That gun I only did a few in just for an example and everything. And uh, when you do get all the way done and you hit save, You'll notice the name over here will change to whatever gun you picked. It will say, like, it won't say the CL whatever right here. It'll just say Shredder Shredder. It'll say it right here. And uh, most of these ones already are modded guns, so that's why I'm not really going to mod too much more of these ones. But it's pretty much that simple. You just come over here to this website and find whatever you're wanting to do, whatever guns. They have all kinds of stuff, but you can only mod guns to other guns. Don't try to mod an item to a gun or vice versa because it'll make your game freeze. And there are other items like shields and stuff like that. But like I said, you have to mod a shield to another shield. And uh, that's it's the same process and everything. It's fairly simple. And this website's great. They update for each patch and everything. So just keep finding whatever patch you are. You can play online. And uh, like I said before um, on my other guide, you can always come over here and mod bring up your file again I, I changed it to the actual class modding thing itself not the gun shop and this is where you can actually mod your character and all that stuff make it whatever level you want and experience and all that stuff um, say like see how I did this right now this is max experience for level 61 with all the uh, download contents I put myself as level 3 so when I when you log into this character 
you'll automatically rank up the 61, get a bunch of skill points, and you'll get all the trophies. So that's why I have this save where it looks kind of weird. People have asked me why is it level 3 with that much experience. It's just because I was trying out a trophy exploit. I can get flame or spam of people complaining about that if you want. I, hey, I have fun. And that's pretty much how it is. Uh, you can mod anything you want with Willow Tree that you see. Uh, the guns uh, will stay and be online. They're great guns. Like with the new patches, they keep trying to take them away, but we keep finding ways to mod them. And um, they are a hundred times better than any gun you can find, but they're not as uber as the first patch was because we had these guns where they were just crazy. But now they're mild down a little bit because of the new patch. But we still got some really badass guns. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll get into an in-depth one and how to make some really good guns on a further one. But uh, if you guys want to keep checking it out, come over to PS3 T Fusion, check out my Modding with Borderlands guide, and I have a bunch of other guides out there. And I uh, hope you guys liked it, and I um, hope to see you guys again.